What's going on everyone? Zach here, Blades LLC. We're out in the enclosed trailer today. We're gonna be installing this little piece right here on the outside of the trailer. So that way we can plug an outlet in. So the inside of this kind of looks like that. This is made for like an RV. And I know you can get these with a plug built in, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put my own in. We bought this yellow jacket. I'm gonna mount it up here. I'm gonna drill a hole through here. And then we're gonna run this cord into this little box. Well, it's not a box, but it's a round plug-in spot. So that'll go outside. I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. I've never done this before actually, but we're gonna do our best here to show you how we did it and hopefully turns out good and most importantly does not leak. So that's gonna be today's video. Let's get into our guys. In still a lot of snow out here, so we got the buddy heater on. I'm gonna plug the lights in. We got a cord smashed through the back door. We want to avoid that, but that's the way we gotta do it for right now. I'm gonna get the lights on in here. <laughs> Be nice to just be able to unplug this and not have to worry about this situation just doesn't want to give up this year guys we've got a couple more inches of snow here coming thursday friday so right after you watch this video we'll be getting snow maybe i guess that's never a for sure thing but this year when they say it's going to snow it's pretty much always snowed so Ugh. anyways Toro Spray Masters for sale if anybody's interested. You can send me a message on uh, either Instagram or Facebook at Blades LLC. We're going to be letting that go. If you want to know how much, you can ask me. But uh, yeah, those machines are super expensive now. They're like uh, a little over 17000 I want to say. I'm not asking anywhere near that, I guess you could say. It's only got 107 hours on it. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, well, you're gonna have to wait and find out. Cause yeah, we're gonna make a, a machine change. And not because I don't like that one. Plug this in quick. Yeah, I'm definitely not selling this because I don't like it. I absolutely love this machine, but as you can see, it only has 107 hours, 0.2 currently on it. And uh, that's just not enough for having it for two years. We had two really bad years up here in Minnesota, but I just don't put that many hours on it. So we're actually going to be downsizing or downgrading machines. These here. Let's see here. Boom. Nice. Okay. One thing I want to mention here is these are not all white. Some of them are. Oops. Some of them are called powder white but they look like kind of like a cream but this doesn't look too bad to me so i think we're gonna rock and roll with it oh, it oh that thing needs to be greased just want to see how it would look guys so we're gonna go down here oh i mounted the spare tire up here too just an old one i had it would work perfect though so we're gonna mount this, like I said, up here, so I can plug things in like chargers and whatnot. Eventually I'll run a deep cycle or two down here underneath so we can have power out here all the time, but I'm gonna, oh shoot, no, I'm not gonna do that yet. All right, so you got the old rigid drill here, and then I've got these uh, Diablo snap locks these are hole saws, and I got a kit. This kit was 50, a little over 50 bucks at the local hardware store. Diablo makes awesome blades, absolutely love them. Uh, they cut through metal, wood, all sorts of different things, and we've had really good luck with them. All right, so right here, I know my stud is right here because I got a screw, so we don't want to be doing that, even though this thing probably would cut through it. It's important to go on the outside of your trailer and make sure there's nothing here. I know there's nothing here and this looks like it'll be a good height and my cord will be able to reach so we're gonna end up poking a hole right through here 
All right, so it says on the back here that we need a three inch cutout. So that's what this is. This is a three inch hole saw. We're gonna poke her out. All right, nice straight through. And there's light. God said, let there be light. So this kit came with this foam piece right here. No instructions, can't believe that. And uh, the outside cover plate. So there is a bigger one here that you can see for a high out output cable or a high voltage cable. This one will work good for a 110 cord. And then it came with these four screws and then some of this putty stuff. So I'm assuming that this is gonna go around the back side here and seal up our hole. And then this foam piece is gonna go between here and the cover plate. And then I bought some uh, white silicone to go around the outside as well So this should work. I know they make specific stuff for RVs, but I know that we're gonna be plenty fine with this right here And then I'm gonna head outside here quick and we're gonna get this put in. Make sure that when you get this on here, make sure those holes are straight up and down because mine definitely is not. I Something I could fix if I wanted to, but like I said, I don't, it's not really that big of a deal to me. Okay, so this is what it looks like all finished up. Got the yellow jacket outlet here, mounted nice and snug. I had to take this off and then do a little bit of modifications inside there but made it work, got it fastened down nice, and then runs down through, I drilled like an inch and a three eighths hole right here, plenty big enough to get the outlet fish down and into this pocket out here. So we'll go plug it in, make sure everything works, but should be good to go. Check that out. That's awesome. Plug that in now. Let's make sure everything works here. Power. Oh, there they are. Nice, nice. I'm gonna need this for my next order of business. You guys will see what that is here in just a sec.
that's what I'm talking about right there. Nice, I'll have to get those adjusted up. When you're pulling a trailer that's this wide, you gotta have mirrors that stick out. It's just a must. Okay, so first, took this off. Boom. Take this out. Probably should use something maybe that's not so sharp because you don't want to scratch this up. Pop that out. All right, now we need a Phillips. Okay, there should be. Set this in here. All right, so you're gonna need a, something to get back behind here because these are kind of chintz. I don't really like this, but it is what it is. Just gotta kind of work those out. Now we gotta go around and pop all these out. I will say, of all things, like Rams are not bad trucks to work on for the most part, but Chevy is definitely better quality when it comes to putting stuff like this on. I, on our, even our minivan, it's got a lot of this cheap plastic stuff on it. I mean, I'd buy another Ram too in a heartbeat, but I just don't like quite how they design their stuff. Some of it's really good. I mean, like getting to their lights and stuff is awesome. Their tailgate is way better than a Chevy. So there's certain things. Okay, now that we got all that out, you're gonna pull out on this handle. Hoodlums are out. Should have took this out first, guys. My bad. Okay. There it is. Now it's out. That's what there is to it. Then, okay, take these bottom two out first. There's one right there. I broke my other one because I didn't know it was there. I thought there was only two in it. Take that out. Okay, you don't want to set these down. And then you got to support. Okay, we're good. So she doesn't fall. And then we should be good to pull this out. There is one clip in there, as you can see. And here are the old mirrors. Oop, don't, break, don't break that. That's what it looked like. You guys know that? My silly GoPro on my head here. All right, so yeah, the other one has, you know, a separate section for your blind spot mirrors and then seeing your wheels and then a bigger part here. 
and then it flips up. So I don't know why they didn't just put those on in the first place, but I suppose because they want to sell you an extra option. But I got these from 1A Auto, I think. 1A Auto. Yep, Trail Ridge. And they're just the correct mirrors for my specific truck. So it's a 2012 Ram 2500. 5.7 Hemi, and I think, I don't know what this is, a Gen 3 truck. <laughs> All right, so after 45 minutes of dinging around out here, uh, these, I don't know what you call them, studs that come out, they screw into the mirror. So it would actually, it would actually go like this. So these broke off when I was tightening these down. So do not tighten it like da da da, and that's it. You know, like, and if you're just going on them with a, a manual ratchet or whatever or a wrench, just barely snug those things up. Do not overdo it. They they snap so easy. So this one is snapped off inside here. So I'm gonna have to probably carefully drill this and then maybe put an easy out on it or something figure out how to get it out tried to get a little weld on there and twist it out but i couldn't so it's in there i'm gonna have to get that figured out but i left this one because this one's easy to get to so it's on here with these two not going anywhere right now so i'm gonna leave that there uh, well so we're gonna want to fish this up through here make sure you can get to it anyways and then we're gonna pull out on this. I think that's all there is to this. Okay, I'm gonna fish this guy through. Fish this one. Come on. Kind of gotta go up nice and high with this. So this is gonna just hang on here. Now this fun gets to happen. touch above freezing 33 degrees or something oh, such a silly thing I can't believe these these feel like they're doing absolutely nothing maybe they're doing something I don't know they probably wouldn't have made them if they didn't but Oh, that is such a bummer that I dropped that. Shoot. Oh, it works even after I dropped it. That's good. Like it so you can see the back corner of your truck. And then this one should be tipped, the bottom one should be tipped down. looks nice I like it thanks so much for following along guys I hope you enjoyed the video today it's a little bit different out working getting stuff ready for the mowing season here this should have been done before plowing season in my opinion but it's all right got this guy in probably ain't gonna harden up the nicest being so cold but 
anyways we're gonna get back in the house here guys i need to sit down and relax it is like 6 30 right now been at it for a while today been working on some odds and ends getting contracts sent out for lawn care and uh, we've been locking some stuff down so we'll see you guys on the next one god bless <laughs>